Welcome back. My name is Daniel Caproni, and this is your AP Statistics class. Now, today we're going to be talking about how to find correlation in your TI Inspire calculator. Now, this won't take us very much time, but I want to make sure you see all the steps for how to find correlation, and I'll even throw in a bonus of showing you how to create the scatter plot with that information as well. So, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at our TI Inspire. All right, so this is the TI Inspire calculator, the one we're going to be using today. We're on the home screen starting off, and I have the data we're going to be using. So we're looking at a group of data that covers the height and weight of a group of males. So I'm going to go ahead, and the first step I need to do to finding correlation is to actually plug that data in. Now, we have learned in the past that when using the TI Inspire, it is very helpful to go ahead and put your labels in first. So I'm gonna say that we'll have our male heights in this category, and we'll go ahead and do our male weights in this column right there. So now I have my titles, I'm ready to actually put in the data. So let's go ahead and speed along, and you can see. Now what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna put all of the heights all in column A, and I'm gonna put all of the weights in column B. I get that it's split into two over here, but I'm not going to split them in here because I want all of the heights to be in A and I want all of my weights to be in B. So let's go ahead and get started in typing those in. All right, now that we have all of that data in there, let's go ahead and talk about how we find our correlation coefficient, also known as R. So your calculator makes this pretty easy, but there's also quite a few different ways you can do it. I'm gonna cover two of the most basic ways to find this. So first off, what we can do is go into our menu. Now, sometimes you'll wanna go ahead and highlight both of these columns before you get started. But that's not absolutely necessary. So let's go ahead and jump into our menu. We have a bunch of different options here. We're going to go to statistics because that's what class we're in. And we're going to go to stat calculations. And you have to choose between this. Now, I'm telling you right now that you will actually be able to get your R value, the correlation coefficient, by going to two variable statistic or by going to either one of these two linear regression buttons. Let's go ahead and try the two variable statistics. So currently it says that we have A for our X variable and it's blank for the Y variable. Now you could leave this as A and put B down here in the same format, that would work. But the reason I always title these is because it makes it very clear as to what's going where. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in male height, which was because I had titled it, popped up in my little arrow over here. And for my Y value, I'm gonna do male weight. So I am 100% certain that those are the two lists that I have put in. Now, we won't touch anything with the frequency list, category list, or include category sections for right now. We'll leave those as is. And the first result column is where it's going to put all the information I need. Now, I don't want that to be in B because I know that my male weight is in B, so I'm actually gonna switch that to C because I know that there is no data in C right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, and you will see all of my things pop up. Now, you may be looking here and saying, this is a ton of stuff I don't need. Well, don't, don't freak out, don't freak out, all right? Um, it actually is going to go through, sorry, I keep bringing up some error screens there, but just because I'm trying to show you all the things by arrowing down. It says here that the X bar, that is just our mean, all right? That's just our mean, so 70.96 is the average of the X values, of the X values. And you can see as we go down that we actually will have the same for the Y values. It's gonna give us all the normal stuff we see, the mean, the standard deviation, um, it's even going to give us the five number summary for both of those. But right here, you will see R. R is your correlation coefficient. So for this set of data, the correlation coefficient is 0.7523 and then onward, 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 onward. So that is how you find the correlation coefficient. Probably one of the quickest ways to do it. As I mentioned, you could have also gone into the menu and chosen any of the linear regression ones as well. Let's go ahead and see what this would look like. If I put in male height and male weight, same as before, I could leave all of these guys blank and jump down to the bottom. 
I'm going to go ahead and put my results in C again and just show you. I'm going to over, override. Yes, I'll lose the data. That's fine. But you'll see here, this has a lot less items. It doesn't give me all the mean and standard deviation of my X and Y. Instead, it gives me more stuff for my linear regression stuff. And you will see the same value for R right here. So notice it didn't change anything. That's the same correlation coefficient that we had before. Now, if you did want to make a scatter plot of this information, you can do so by going back to the home screen, go to this guy right here for graphing. And because we have titled our two things, they will show up when I click down here on the X variable, it will show up in my list of things to choose. So I'm going to pick male height here, and I'm going to click male weight over here. And we can see there our scatter plot of the data. So this has just been a very basic overview. I'm not diving into changing things or moving things around, but that's how you find your R value in your TI Inspire. So again, if I go back up here to the other tab, I can see what the R value is, and I can even compare that number to see if it's reasonable to use that R value based off of our conditions for correlation. Well, there you have it, guys. This has been Finding Correlation Coefficient on a TI Inspire. I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, go ahead and hit the like button below to let me know. Also, if you want to keep getting videos like this or AP Stat or any other math-related content, go ahead and click subscribe as well, and you can see my new weekly videos every week as I upload throughout the year. Again, my name's Daniel Caproni, and this has been AP Statistics.